Hi everybody, welcome to the student produced Reading Through History knockoff video and the story of Native Americans and smallpox. This project was produced by Alina Champon, Megan Kluzman, and me, Ashley Salim. We are juniors at San Marino High School in Mr. Bacconi's 2020-2021 AP U.S. History course. One of the most notable and deadly diseases for Native Americans in North America was smallpox. This disease has since been eradicated in the world, but it was fatal to Native Americans who lacked acquired immunity to smallpox. It is unclear when and how smallpox first came into contact with Native Americans. Some sources say that smallpox first came to the Americas when a Spanish ship sailed to Mexico with a smallpox-infected slave 12 years before the Spanish arrived in the Americas. Other sources say that a black deckhand aboard the ship St. Peter's had smallpox and spread the disease to other members of the crew. As they traveled along the Mississippi River, more people became infected with the disease. Spanish exploration and conquest were accompanied and furthered by widespread deadly epidemics that devastated native populations. Continuing trade with Europeans increased the flow of goods in and out of American Indian communities, simulating cultural and economic changes and spreading epidemic diseases that caused racial demographic shifts. Smallpox ravaged native populations, becoming an extinction-level event. Smallpox was so widespread among Native Americans because common diseases of the Eastern Hemisphere were absent from the Americas prior to the arrival of the Europeans in 1492. For Europeans, they had many generations of experience with diseases like smallpox, and they developed traits that allowed them to survive smallpox better than populations that never experienced it before. However, the reason so many Native Americans contracted smallpox was due to them lacking acquired immunity to a certain number of diseases, including smallpox. Native Americans used many different methods to try and combat smallpox, but were unsuccessful in dealing with such a deadly disease. Native Americans would visit each other when sick, which contributed to the spread of disease. They also attributed disease to religious beliefs, such as the lack of charm use, intrusion of objects by means of sorcery, or the free soul's absence from the body. Native American medicine men often attempted to treat smallpox victims with prayers and magical incantations. Shamanism, a religious practice, was frequently used to try and cure smallpox. When disease first showed itself within a tribe, a patient's family would summon a shaman to divine a curse. The shaman would proceed to perform a dance where he would raise and lower his voice and blow a reed whistle while shaking a dew claw rattle over the patient. Because Native Americans believed that illnesses were caused by a malevolent spirit, the shaman would pray for strength to cast evil away from the victim's body. Some Native Americans could have been saved if they were given even the smallest measure of care, but because there were no other people to hunt, fish, or gather crops, many of them starved to death. Many of their attempts to cure smallpox accelerated the death of the victim. One example of this was induced sweating. Native Americans with high fevers, a symptom of smallpox, were placed in hot sweat lodges and submerged in icy water. Crowding together in wooden or earthen lodges or in buffalo hide teepees was also a large part of Native American culture, which only worsened the spread of the disease. Not only was smallpox a disease that Native Americans were unequipped to combat, but it was also beyond their understanding. In the Great Plains of North America, Many Native American tribes believed internal illnesses had supernatural origins. They simply could not fathom an illness being passed from one person to another. A short-term effect of smallpox was approximately 90% of the Native population perished. As a result and long-term effect, colonizers were able to easily colonize Native American land and survive without many threats of wars with them. Additionally, as a result of the drastic decrease in the population of Native Americans, the enslavement of Africans increased. Without the spread of smallpox amongst the Native Americans, the Europeans most likely would not have been as successful as they were. In fact, if smallpox never reached the Native Americans, the Native Americans would have outnumbered the Europeans, which would have changed the course of history completely. A very interesting question about smallpox is whether or not it was used as a weapon against Native Americans. And it is connected to the story of Lord Geoffrey Amherst, smallpox, and the French and Indian War. In the 18th century, the British fought France and its Indian allies for possession of what was to become Canada. During the Pontiac Rebellion, Sir Geoffrey Amherst, the British forces commander-in-chief, wrote to Colonel Henry Bouquet, Could it not be contrived to send smallpox among these disaffected tribes of Indians? The colonel said they could send blankets to them, which eventually led to the exposing of smallpox to Native Americans. Smallpox was an extremely deadly disease to Native Americans in North America, leaving permanent consequences that can be seen today. Thank you for watching this student-produced Reading Through History knockoff video.